Well, guys, school is definitely back. Ugh. Kidding. Honestly, I love school. All my friends are here, I love band, and now that I'm actually taking classes that have to do with my major, I'm learning stuff that I genuinely care about. Yay, college! But before college, we all learn stuff that does not matter to us at all. And much like students don't want to be at school sometimes, there are lots of teachers that don't want to be there either. And you know what this leads to? Lying. Teachers who don't care enough to be informed? Lie. So without further ado, I'm just going to start spitting off some of the biggest lies I've been told from kindergarten to the present. No starting sentences with conjunctions. Because I learned about subordinating conjunctions, I know this is a lie. And I'm pretty sure you can start sentences with coordinating conjunctions too. I before E except after C. Society and lots more. You have to use MLA format because you're going to use that forever, all the way through college. Oh my goodness, okay. Teach? Don't even get me started on this one. This is so, so silly, and the same goes for like, teachers who say you have to write in pen, and double space, and use cursive, all that stuff goes out the window when you get to college, and it's not just because teachers have different rules, it's also because everything is on computers now, like, <laughs> teachers don't care if you write in cursive, because you're gonna type your essay and turn it in online. Dot your eyes with hearts, they don't care. Before Christopher Columbus, everyone thought the Earth was flat. This was pretty well known before he discovered America. And the Declaration of Independence was signed on the 4th of July. It was signed on August 2nd. Fun fact, George Washington had wooden teeth. Close, but they're actually made of ivory and other human teeth. That is a fun fact. Charles Darwin came up with the theory of evolution. Evolution actually goes all the way back to ancient Greece. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma, there's like Bose-Einstein condensate, there's some more out there, don't know all of them. And the last planet is Pluto. Pluto is... that that's true! Pl Pluto is a planet! What are you talking about? Pluto's still a planet! Are you you can't subtract a small number by a bigger number. Just negative numbers. You can't put negatives in radicals. I'd like to introduce you to my little friend, I. Pi equals 3.14. I mean, this one's just way easier to type 3.14 in your calculator. No one wants to type 3.14159265358979323846264338333. Okay, but real talk, guys. I know that most of these lies aren't even real lies. They're just things teachers told us to make it easier on us at the time. Like expecting our six-year-old minds to be able to wrap around negative numbers. Yeah, right. And I mean, yeah, there really are teachers out there who don't care enough to learn their material at all. But to the ones that do and are just trying to help us out, thanks, you guys. You roll. Stay in school, kids. See ya. Before college, we're all forced to learn how to read a script. Solid, liquid, gas, glass. Okay, this one's true. It just hurts. Wait. No, I said that the lie was Pluto's planet.